Alma has developed a new kind of antibiotic. For the antibiotic to be sufficiently effective, it has to kill at least 90% of bacteria when applied to a harmful bacteria culture. She applied her antibiotic to a petri dish full of harmful bacteria, waited for it to take effect, and then tried to estimate the percentage of dead bacteria in it. She took a random sample of 300 bacteria and found that 94% of them were dead. Then she calculated the margin of error and found that the true percentage of dead bacteria is most likely to be above 90%. So what's happening over here, she's trying to figure out what percentage of the, of the total population of bacteria died. And maybe there's something about this bacteria, maybe just when you look at it from you know, with the, the naked eye, you can't tell whether the bacteria died or not. And so she decides to estimate the true percentage by sampling 300 individual bacterium, or I guess, by sampling, I always forget the, the singular case, by sampling 300 bacteria. And then in her sample, she found that 94% of them were dead. And then the margin of error tells us, because the margin of error says that it's unlikely, or that it's very likely that the true percentage is above 90%, that means that given that you sample 300 bacteria, it's very unlikely that the true percentage is below 90%. So she could feel reasonably confident that in her Petri dish, more than 90% of the population did indeed die. Now, let's answer these questions. What type of statistical study did Alma use? Well, she used a, a she was trying to estimate a parameter for a population. In this case, the parameter was the percentage of all of the bacteria that died. She couldn't observe that directly, so instead she took a random sample of the bacteria in the petri dish, and she used she calculated a statistic for them, 94% of them were dead, and that's her estimate for the, the population parameter, the percentage of the population that died. So this is when you're using a, a, a when you're using a random sample to generate a statistic which estimates a parameter for a population, that's a sample study. So she ran a sample study. Now the next question is, is the study appropriate for the statistical questions it's supposed to answer? So what was the question that she's trying to answer? Well, at least the way it's written, it seems like she's trying to answer whether or not her antibiotic works, whether it's an effective antibiotic, whether it's capable of, of killing bacteria. And you might be tempted to say, okay, well, look, it looks like it killed, it killed more than 90% of the bacteria, or it very likely killed more than 90% of the bacteria, given, given the, the sample size and the margin error and all of that. But even if it is indeed the case that 95% of all of the bacteria died, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was caused by the antibiotic. Maybe it was caused by the plastic in the Petri dish. Maybe, maybe the air in the Petri dish was too cold or went bad, or maybe it was handled in a weird way, or maybe that bacteria was just a bad, a, a bad, a, 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 a bad culture, and it somehow it, it just it spontaneously died on, on its own. It's very she can't say with confidence that it was definitely it was definitely the antibiotic. In order for her to make that statement, she would have to run a proper experiment. She would have to have a control and a treatment group where everything is equal except for the treatment group has the treatment. So if she had two Petri dishes that were, that were, that were kept in the same conditions with the same lighting, the same air, the same, same uh, material that the, that the bacteria is growing on, everything the same except for the treatment group, has the antibiotic applied to it, and then she saw that in the treatment group that most of the bacteria died, while in the control group most of the bacteria didn't die, then she could say, okay, it looks like the antibiotic caused the bacteria to die, to die that there was actual causality here. So she would have had to run an experiment the, the, mo the, 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 more, the most appropriate statistical study or the most appropriate study would have been a proper controlled experiment where you have a control group where they don't have the antibiotic and a treatment group where they do have the antibiotic. So let's see what are the choices here where they say is the study appropriate. So yes, because she's an appropriate study. No, I don't like that answer. No, because she can't know for certain that the true percentage of dead bacteria is above 90%. Well, I'm not going to click on that because even if she knew for certain that the true percentage of dead bacteria were 95%, she can't feel confident that it was due to the antibiotic. Once again, it could be caused by the air conditioner. It could have been caused by the Petri dish. It could have been caused by the lighting in the room. So no, because the study didn't have a treatment and a control group. Yeah, I would go with that one right over there. 
Yes, because she found the antibiotic kills more than 90% of the harmful bacteria. Once again, even if she know for, knew for sure that uh, more than 90% of the population had been killed, she doesn't know that it was caused by the antibiotic. It could have been caused by a whole bunch of things. If she had a control group that had the exact same conditions and the antibiotic didn't, and the bacteria didn't die, then she could feel better that it was the, the bacteria death was due to the antibiotic.